Finally, Meta CEO Mark is also in the game. He said he wants to build AI and it is his 2024 goal. Hey everyone, today I am bringing Meta's two AI research efforts closer together to support our long-term goals of building general intelligence, open sourcing it responsibly, and making it available and useful to everyone in all of our daily lives. It's become clearer that the next generation of services requires building full general intelligence building the best AI assistants, AIs for creators, AIs for businesses, and more, that needs advances in every area of AI, from reasoning to planning to coding to memory and other cognitive abilities. This technology is so important, and the opportunities are so great that we should open source and make it as widely available as we responsibly can, so that way everyone can benefit. And we're building an absolutely massive amount of infrastructure, um, to support this. By the end of this year, we're going to have around 350,000 NVIDIA H100s, or around 600,000 H100 equivalents of compute if you include other GPUs. We're currently training Llama 3, and we've got an exciting roadmap of, of future models that we're going to keep training responsibly and safely to. People are also going to need new devices for AI, and this brings together AI and the metaverse. Because over time, I think a lot of us are going to talk to AIs frequently throughout the day. And I think a lot of us are going to do that using glasses. Because glasses are the ideal form factor for letting an AI see what you see and hear what you hear, so it's always available to help out. Ray-Ban Meta Glasses with Meta AI are already off to a very strong start. And overall, across all this stuff, we are just getting started. OpenAI is the company that started this emission of AGI. Demis Hassavi, the leader of Google AI efforts, has the same goal. Now, Meta CEO Mark Zuck is entering the race. He wants to build it at the same time he is also focused on his other venture, Metaverse. He wants to integrate general intelligence into its system so it can be more interesting, eventually helping Meta's product reach billions of consumers. He says we have come to this view that in order to build the product that we want to build, we need to build for general intelligence. In the more detailed part of the interview, the battle for AI talent has never been more fierce with every company in the space vying for an extremely small pool of researchers and engineers. Those with needed expertise can command eye-popping compensation packages to the tune of over $1 million a year, he says. CEOs like Mark Zuckerberg are routinely pulled in to try to win over a key recruit or keep a researcher from defecting to a competitor. Though everyone seems to be excited about AI, not a single one working on AI include Chuck. Sam Altman seems to have a clear definition of AGI or an idea of when it will arrive. He sees its eventual arrival as being a gradual process rather than a single moment. As Meta CEO Jack explains it, Meta's new broader focus on AGI was influenced by the release of Llama 2. Currently Meta is training its Llama 3 and it will have code generating capabilities like Google's new Gemini model. Another focus is on more advanced reasoning and planning capabilities. Llama 2 was not an industry leading model, but it was the best open source model, he said. With Llama 3 and beyond, our ambition is to build things that are at the state of art and eventually the leading models in the industry. The company Meta is slowly shifting from Metaverse to a more AI-oriented approach. It is clear that Mark has bigger plans for its Metaverse and it might surprise us. 2024 is going to be a crazier AI year than 2023. Make sure you like, share and subscribe for all the future updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.